A wise man once told me that you can't kill big bucks if you're shooting the little ones. We were fortunate enough to have a tag in one of the most coveted units in the state of Utah. We would spend countless hours, many miles, looking over all the bucks that the unit had to offer. We had plenty of options this year as it was a decent moisture year with decent amount of feed. Typically this unit has quite a few outfitters and quite a few people that are what you would call hardcore hunters that hunt hard and a lot of the bucks that we had scouted previous to the archery season were already harvested and so we had a few options left but one in particular had a giant frame with some inlines in the back forks and we figured that he would go over 200 inches and so this is the buck that we decided we would key on during the muzzleloader hunt. Opening morning came and we frantically searched for the buck. When we finally found him, he was directly in the sun from us and we couldn't get on him to take a shot. Before we could get set up to take a shot, he took a run on us. He got in the tree line and when we got up where we could see, he was crossing a main road in the unit and a truck stop and they almost shot him and that was the last time we would see him for five days. As with any hunt, we went back to work. We ground, we looked for bucks. We looked over many bucks. Bucks that we hadn't seen before, some bucks that we'd scouted, and even new bucks that were migrating through in, if, in an effort to try and relocate the big buck that we had had our sights set on opening morning. We passed a lot of big bucks that anyone would probably shoot. Day after day, we would just glass and move and glass and move in an effort to try and relocate the big buck. We passed multiple bucks, bucks that you're seeing on here that most guys would shoot on this unit with this tag. We knew that if we could just be patient and wait long enough, we would eventually turn him back up because big bucks generally end up right back where their home core area is even after they've been buggered out for a day or two. After a couple of days, we decided that we needed to expand our search. And so we ventured out to a canyon that we hadn't looked in we couldn't believe what we were seeing. We found a buck that we had found earlier in the summer that we figured would go over 190. A beautiful, slick, four-point typical. And he was acting funny. And as we watched, we could see that there was some coyotes chasing him around. Somehow they had either wounded him or he had been wounded from another person on a different hunt, maybe the archery, maybe the first day or two of the muzzleloader hunt. And these coyotes were relentless. They chased him around in the grass and then they chased him up on a side hill. So we decided that what we needed to do was probably go and hunt him where he was wounded because we figured he was gonna die anyways. We bedded him and moved in for a shot, but unfortunately the ridge was too thick and we ended up on the wrong finger and we couldn't lay eyes on him and we blew him out, never to see him again. We continued to look for our number one buck and the buck that we knew was wounded because they were in the same area 
and as we did, we passed over multiple bucks. As luck would have it, on the fifth day, as we were looking, we ended up turning up the day one buck, the big buck with splits in the back. We bedded him, we snuck in for a shot. We were patient, and we got a good dead rest. That would be the last time we would see that buck again. When we got back into service, I checked my messages and had a message from my old man that said he had a buck bedded, so the hunt was on again. By the time we got there, it was late afternoon and the buck was bedded underneath the shadow of this tree. We quickly moved into position because we didn't know how long the buck would stay bedded because of the position of the sun and we made the right move because minutes later, he got up and started to feed away. Okay, we've got him right there. Oh, great shot.